One thing that limits many people and causes blocks that keeps them from achieving all the things that they want in their life is that they're very focused on their past. I've worked with quite a few people and many people will tell me the same story. They'll say, I'm trying to achieve this, but I can't achieve it because of something that happened back in my past. And it's always the same story, some traumatic event, uh, some separation, some maybe abuse, other things. And I can relate to this because I come from a background myself where I had kind of a troubling childhood. And I understand why we get in the mode of thinking this way, but the problem with it is it gets you feeling that you are a victim, that you are somehow a victim of these circumstances and there's nothing you can do about it. Well, let's make a few points about this. Number one, everybody has got junk in their past. Every single person. I do. Everybody I know does. Even people who you think are perfect and they have no issues in their past, you can bet your last dollar they do. I mean, psychologists tell us that the majority of people come from what they call dysfunctional families. Okay, Now, we don't have to get bogged down in the labels there, but the important point to, to notice is that everybody's got a story, everybody's got a past, and many of them are bad. Okay, But, and here's the important part here, your past does not exist. That's what I'm saying to you. If your past existed, you could show it to me. You could touch it. You could feel it. The only way it can kind of exist is if you keep replaying it on a loop in your mind. Okay? If you keep thinking about it and focusing on it, then it can exist. Otherwise, it has no actual part of reality. Like, as I say, you can't touch it, you can't smell it, you can't feel it. It's not there. It's just not there. And it's the same with my past. Now, I will tell you, I'm not pointing fingers at anyone because I was worse about this particular block than anybody I know. Because for many years, probably 20-something years, I allowed a bad kind of abusive childhood to limit me, to make me feel like a victim. And I used that as my excuse unconsciously. I didn't realize I was doing it. But I would not achieve things, and I always had the excuse in the back of my mind, well, that's because of my past. That's why I can't achieve that. And when you say things like that, you're cursing yourself. You really are. Using those words, you make it true in your mind when you keep repeating that thought, that idea to yourself. So if you've been focusing on your past and if you've been limited by your past, begin turning away from that, okay? And understanding that your past doesn't exist. It's not around, you can't touch it, it's not there, okay? What is here is this moment right now. And the more that you can feel good in this moment, right now, watching me at this moment, hopefully, the more you can feel good at this moment, the more you're attracting good things to you. So just for a moment, I want you to try a little simple exercise with me. Smile. Raise your eyebrows a little bit. Open up your eyes all the way. Allow yourself to feel kind of silly. Allow yourself to feel good in this moment right now. Allow yourself to think about something that feels really good, something motivational, something inspiring to you, and feel good in this moment. And notice those feelings. Notice that feeling coming through you. Allow yourself to just feel good right now. Because here's the secret. Right now is all that exists. Okay, there is no future, you know, you can't touch it either. There is no past, you can't touch that. You can only touch right now. This moment exists, the others don't. So what you do in this moment is what counts. Now, I'm not trying to get too deep into this or philosophical or anything, but it is an important point to understand that your life is made up of moments, and you're in a moment right now. You're in one, you know, just as I am, everyone is. You're in this moment. How do you feel in this moment? And can you smile? Can you make yourself feel good? Can you think about things that empower you, that inspire you? And hold that for as long as you can. Because the longer you hold that and the more intensely you feel good in this moment, the more you're beginning to attract more of these feelings to you. Feeling good in this moment is what it's all about, okay? So when it comes to your past, there's a couple of things that I recommend 
to help you to do away with focusing on your past and do away with being limited because you can break right through those old limitations. You don't have to allow yourself to keep hitting that, that ceiling that keeps you from getting any higher and pointing to your past saying, that's the reason I can't do it. Because like I keep saying, you can't touch your past. It's not here. It doesn't exist. You can't show it to me. So when you talk about it, you're off in la la land. You're talking about fantasy. You're talking about something that's not real. It's not here. Okay. So here's how you deal with it. Understanding that. Saying that's not real. What's real is this moment and how I feel right now. That's what's real. This will help you to, to break through that ceiling there. Focus on the moment. Focus on grabbing a hold of anything you can to feel good right now, to feel inspired, to feel powerful and happy, content, prosperous, abundant, right now, anything. Focus on those good things. And as you do that, you're attracting more and more of them to you. Now, another way to deal with a troubling past in your life is to simply rewrite your past. This is an NLP technique that I learned years ago, and this works so well. All you have to do is, when you visualize sometimes, just take a couple of minutes, visualize some episode from your past that used to be troubling to you. It used to be. Because as you visualize it now, you're going to change the visualization. You're going to see it in your mind a different way. And the way you're going to see it is exactly the way you would have liked it to go on. Uh, for example, if you had a situation, a confrontation with someone, visualize it and see it working out exactly as you wanted it to work out. See it in the most empowering way to you that makes you feel good. Do that, okay? And do it several times uh, a week or even several times a day. See these experiences, the troubling experiences from your past, and you know what they are. If you have troubling things in your past, if I asked you what's the worst things, the top five worst things in your past, you would have no trouble telling me. Okay, write down those things. Okay, or just write a shorthand. You don't have to go into detail about it, but just list what they are. And then every day, rewrite some of them and do it over and over. Again, it comes down to repetition because rewriting these things by visualizing them as you would have liked them to go is going to change your memories, change your feelings about them. So now when you think about these situations, they're going to seem very different. And I'll be the first to tell you, I have had situations in my past that were quite troubling and I have rewritten many of them. And today I'm not even sure what's true and what's not because I have so sort of intermingled those memories with these strong visualizations. One particular thing that I rewrote many times and is now very true and very real to me and when I think about that event I feel very empowered and very positive because I rewrote it where I saw myself coming out of that situation in the most positive powerful way for me. I saw it going the way I wanted it to go. So use the visualization to help you with the past, to rewrite the past. And if you, something from your past is not really sticking out and bothering you, then leave it alone. Let sleeping dogs lie. But if there are things that keep coming up, rewrite them. And then understand that your past does not exist. You can't touch it. You can't feel it or smell it. It's not there. Okay? There's only this moment.